Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Brewery Weird Podcast. I cover real life topics, pop culture, internet culture, and social media trends on this podcast. I also cover storytelling topics on this podcast. I'm your main host, Alex. Call me Burry J or Burry. If you are a new listener to this podcast, welcome. Thank you for joining me. If you have not listened to the previous episodes of this podcast, please check it out when you have free time after this new episode. I will be the only speaker for this episode. No one is here with me. We are in this fourth episode of this podcast. I definitely want to make a disclaimer. This episode is not meant to give people legal advice. I'm not a legal professional. I am not an attorney. If you have any legal questions or you are seeking legal advice, speak to an attorney about copyright laws because I will be talking about this. This is just my insight and what I know of because I am part of this business model too. It's on YouTube. In other words, it is general knowledge. Do not ask me for some legal advice. I will be discussing something different. I feel that this has been some type of social media trend at the same time. This is real life. Our livelihood depends on social media. I have been keeping up with this trend because I have seen commentary channels talking about this on YouTube. This needs to be discussed. The mainstream media has not been covering this at all. In other words, the mainstream media did not go in depth about this new copyright law where every social media company has to apply. I find it very upsetting. It affects creators, social media influencers, and celebrities. It also affects small businesses and small startups as well. That includes the people who are on social media for some entertainment. They are not creators or people that are starting a small business on social media. I just want to make it clear. Unfortunately, not lots of people are talking about this. I need to bring this up to you guys, those who are listening. My mind has been all over the place. I will not speak perfectly in this episode. Please bear with me. I have to take it seriously because I am a content creator. I record podcast episodes. I can't be too comfortable since the revision of the DMCA bill will go after everyone. I just want people to be knowledgeable about these things. I have to know this stuff. People may think that I'm over exaggerating. This is not a joke at all. What is going on is that your favorite influencers Content creators and your favorite streamers on Twitch might be in legal trouble with the copyright system. Twitch has been on some hot water for months. This is recent. I'm sure that most of you guys know the story of YouTube facing these copyright infringement lawsuits. YouTubers have been facing copyright infringement lawsuits as well. This revision of the DMCA bill affects the whole internet. These copyright holders know how to use the internet and they will come after everyone. It affects the whole world. I am for protecting copyright owners. I am for respecting the property of the trademarks. I don't care what you do as long as you have the rights to cashing on these royalty checks. You Using copyrighted work costs us. I just don't like that people forget that there are expenses behind copyrighted work if it is used. It's common when several people forget using copyrighted work, which has a price in it. Therefore, I can't forget it at all. I always find protecting the copyrighted work very important. No one should forget why the DMCA law exists. I find it unfortunate that the revision of the DMCA bill will will go this far to severely punish people. Not every single person is going to be okay once this new revision passes. I don't mean all streamers, content creators, and social media influencers. I am paying copyright, copyright owners if I have permission to use their work. 
I have to take it seriously because I am a content creator. I record podcast episodes. I can't be too comfortable since the revision of the DMCA bill will go after everyone. I just want people to be knowledgeable about these things. I have to know this stuff. People may think that I'm over-exaggerating. This is not a joke at all. What is going on is that your favorite influencers, content creators, and your favorite streamers on Twitch might be in legal trouble with the copyright system. Twitch has been on some hot water for months. This is recent. I'm sure that most of you guys know the story of YouTube facing these copyright infringement lawsuits. YouTubers have been facing copyright infringement lawsuits as well. This revision of the DMCA bill affects the whole internet. These copyright holders know how to use the internet and they will come after everyone. It affects the whole world. I am for protecting copyright owners. I am for respecting the property of the trademarks. I don't care what you do as long as you have the rights to cashing on these royalty checks. You Using copyrighted work costs us. I just don't like that people forget that there are expenses behind copyrighted work if it is used. It's common when several people forget using copyrighted work, which has a price in it. Therefore, I can't forget it at all. I always find protecting the copyrighted work very important. No one should forget why the DMCA law exists. I find it unfortunate that the revision of the DMCA bill will will go this far to severely punish people. Not every single person is going to be okay once this new revision passes. I don't mean all streamers, content creators, and social media influencers. I am paying copyright, copyright owners if I have permission to use their work. Let's get into the background story. There has been this trend on social media. It was on Twitter. It was a hashtag called Stop DMCA. In case you do not know what DMCA stands for, it is Digital Millennium Copyright Act. The DMCA initially started when it protected those whose work would be used without getting paid Normally, the DMCA controls how copyrighted material is used online and there are provisions that protect platforms from litigation. You know, should the platform remove the offending material once notified about the infringement? Today, the DMCA exists and will always exist. That is what, that's what I know. Currently, Twitch uses a three-strike policy for its users. You know, if you get three strikes, you're banned. The new copyright law has been controversial. The DMCA has been revised. You know, let me do a breakdown on Twitch. Twitch revised some changes because several Twitch streamers have been using copyrighted music in the background of their streams. Um, This was going on before... There was a revision of the DMCA bill. Twitch got a lot of DMCA takedown notices from copyright holders, presumably from the RIAA, I don't know what it stands for, which beefed with the site earlier this summer and had to take action. Twitch had to act quickly because They know that they cannot defend themselves from a copyright infringement lawsuit or trademark lawsuit. Um, Twitch announced that they deleted infringing material from streamers' channels instead of allowing streamers to archive their content or submit counterclaims. Twitch streamers were not allowed to submit counterclaims or get a retraction of the claim instead of deleting content. In other words, they were not allowed to dispute the copyright claims. Twitch encouraged streamers to delete their content if it contained contained copyrighted music. I'm assuming that Twitch streamers have been getting 
their streams taken down by getting DMCA notices. They did not have the chance to submit claims. This fall, Twitch introduced what they called was a fully licensed product called Soundtrack by Twitch, which allowed streamers to play music without fear of being issued a DMCA takedown. However, the Recording Academy and the RIAA, among other organizations, rebutted and suggested that the licensing behind the product was not sufficient. For its part, a Twitch spokesperson provided the statement. Um, that spokesperson said, We are incredibly proud of the essential service Twitch has become for so many artists and songwriters, especially during this challenging time. It is crucial that we protect the rights of songwriters, artists, and other music industry partners. We continue to develop tools and resources to further educate our creators and empower them with more control over their content. While partner excuse me, partnering with industry recognized vendors in the copyright space to help us achieve these goals. Um, Twitch did not want to penalize streamers for having copyrighted music. Twitch streamers were very upset and concerned. They're unsure which of the timestamps had copyrighted music in their past streams. I'm assuming that Twitch streamers did not initially check their old streams to see if any of their old streams had copyrighted um, work, their music. I'm sure that these Twitch streamers are afraid of being banned on Twitch. There was a Twitch streamer that was going off on Twitter. His name is Devin Nash. He was upset about his live streams being deleted. Maybe he used copyrighted music in his streams. If he did, I do not know at all. I was in lots of different emotions once I heard this. The provision has been added to the bill by Senator Tom Tillis of North Carolina. If this bill is passed, the provision would likely land streaming platforms, including Twitch, in more hot water. Twitch continued to butt heads with major labels and copyright representatives for much of 2020 this year. The vote in the House was 410 to 6. That's a big number. If the bill passes, any copyrighted material that is used unauthorized in a content creator stream will be immediately considered as a felony offense. So this means that content creators may face jail time. We don't know how long content creators may face jail time for using copyrighted content without permission. This bill can carry on in different social media platforms like Instagram stories, TikTok videos, and clips from Twitch. That is very scary. I'm assuming that Twitch streamers have been getting their streams taken down by getting DMCA notices. They did not have the chance to submit claims. This fall, Twitch introduced what they called was a fully licensed product called Soundtrack by Twitch, which allowed streamers to play music without fear of being issued a DMCA takedown. However, the Recording Academy and the RIAA, among other organizations, rebutted and suggested that the licensing behind the product was not sufficient. For its part, a Twitch spokesperson person provided the statement. Um, that spokesperson said, we are incredibly proud of the essential service Twitch has become for so many artists and songwriters, especially during this challenging time. It is crucial that we protect the rights of songwriters, artists, and other music industry partners we continue to develop tools and resources to further educate our creators and empower them with more control over their content. While partner, 
excuse me, partnering with industry recognized vendors in the copyright space to help us achieve these goals. Um, Twitch did not want to penalize streamers for having copyrighted music. Twitch streamers were very upset and concerned. They're unsure which of the timestamps had copyrighted music in their past streams. I'm assuming that Twitch streamers did not initially check their old streams to see if any of their old streams had copyrighted um, work, their music. I'm sure that these Twitch streamers are afraid of being banned on Twitch. There was a Twitch streamer that was going off on Twitter. His name is Devin Nash. He was upset about his live streams being deleted. Maybe he used copyrighted music in his streams. If he did, I do not know at all. I was in lots of different emotions once I heard this. The provision has been added to the bill by Senator Tom Tillis of North Carolina. If this bill is passed, the provision would likely land streaming platforms, including Twitch, in more hot water. Twitch continued to butt heads with major labels and copyright representatives for much of 2020 this year. The vote in the House was 410 to 6. That's a big number. If the bill passes, any copyrighted material that is used unauthorized in a content creator stream will be immediately considered as a felony offense. So this means that content creators may face jail time. We don't know how long content creators may face jail time for using copyrighted content without permission. This bill can carry on in different social media platforms like Instagram stories, TikTok videos, and clips from Twitch. That is very scary. It does not matter how long you stream the copyrighted songs. It could affect the way that people stream videos. The streaming community is currently living in fear that the felony streaming proposal might go unnoticed and passed. It would also hurt social media influencers, those who record a podcast, um, commentary social media creators, and other creators on social media. I don't think that it will make a difference if streamers gave credit to the music artist when they use copyrighted music. Normally, you can get sued for using copyrighted music. This is not the first time that Twitch received notifications for streamers to use copyrighted music. If you have any previous streams, when you use copyrighted music in the background, you have to take it down. Let's say that you are a streamer, you're recording a live stream, and you pass by someone that is playing copyrighted music in the background, you have to take it down. You will get a DMCA notification. You don't want these copyright lawsuits showing up at your door. You know, there were several Twitch streamers who fired back against the new DMCA law. One of them is Penguin Zero. That is his username. And his real name is Charles Xavier White Jr. I hope that it is right. He explained his frustrations about this new DMCA law and how it is affecting Twitch streamers' livelihood. And I get where he was coming from. It could affect the way that people stream videos. The streaming community is currently living in fear that the felony streaming proposal might go unnoticed and passed. It would also hurt social media influencers, those who record a podcast, um, commentary social media creators, and other creators on social media. I don't think that it will make a difference if streamers gave credit to the music artist when they use copyrighted music. Normally, you can get sued for using copyrighted music. This is not the first time that Twitch received notifications for streamers to use copyrighted music. If you have any previous streams when you used 
copyrighted music in the background, you have to take it down. Let's say that you are a streamer, you're recording a live stream, and you pass by someone that is playing copyrighted music in the background, you have to take it down. You will get a DMCA notification. You don't want these copyright lawsuits showing up at your door. You know, there were several Twitch streamers who fired back against the new DMCA law. One of them is Penguin Zero. That is his username. And his real name is Charles Xavier White Jr. I hope that it is right. He explained his frustrations about this new DMCA law and how it is affecting Twitch streamers' livelihood. And I get where he was coming from. This one is very important. In case you don't know, this action role video game was released this year. It's called Cyberpunk 2077. The developers named, what was the name? CD Projekt Red warned Twitch streamers not to use copyrighted music while they are streaming because Cyberpunk 2077 has several copyrighted music in the video game. They were warning these streamers if Twitch streamers use one of their copyrighted music in Cyber, I'm sorry, Cyberpunk 2077, then these Twitch streamers will receive DMCA notices. In other words, they will get a strike on their channel. They warned these streamers on Wednesday before the game launched. In all regions, the developers, CD Project Red, must be aware of the DMCA law. This one is very important. In case you don't know, this action role video game was released this year. It's called Cyberpunk 2077. The developers named, what was the name? CD Projekt Red warned Twitch streamers not to use copyrighted music while they are streaming because Cyberpunk 2077 has several copyrighted music in the video game. They were warning these streamers if Twitch streamers use one of their copyrighted music in Cyber, I'm sorry, Cyberpunk 2077, then these Twitch streamers will receive DMCA notices. In other words, they will get a strike on their channel. They warned these streamers on Wednesday before the game launched. In all regions, the developers, CD Project Red, must be aware of the DMCA law. The developers um, CD Project Red must be aware of the DMCA law. They were asking streamers to mute the music if they use copyrighted music. It depends on the duration of using copyrighted music. It does not matter how long the duration is. When you are using copyrighted music in your stream, the duration of using copyrighted music has to be muted. Let me go over the general copyright law system and then discuss why this new bill of the DMCA is a big deal. This entire situation puts me in anxiety. It's insane that this new law is about to be put in place. What people don't realize is that this new law will affect all social media platforms, especially YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. I believe in the consequences that people can be sued for using copyrighted work. The owner of the copyrighted work wins this court battle, for sure. I don't believe in giving people fines when they are not going to court for copyright infringement or using people's trademark without permission. I don't agree that people should be in prison for using copyrighted work or music. That's not okay. I see those types of consequences to be unfair. I'm not agreeing with it at all. I find it very excessive. It sounds very dangerous. I don't agree that it teaches people a lesson when people use someone's copyrighted work without authorization. This is not new to me because this been this has been happening with lots of YouTubers. I know that several YouTubers 
discuss their struggle to make sure that their videos are not being messed with and their videos are not banned on their platform. I mean on YouTube. I know that several YouTubers discuss their struggle to make sure that their videos are not being messed with and their videos are not banned on the platform. In other words, their videos would be privated, not all videos. I can't say that I'm surprised Twitch allowed streamers to use copyrighted music. The biggest issue that I have with Twitch is that they allowed streamers to use copyrighted music for several years without legal consequences. I find it aggravating that they had to make changes regarding the copyright system at the last minute because music record labels came after Twitch. If you think about record labels, you think about Sony and Atlantic Records, other major record labels as well. Obviously, I believe that Twitch allowed people to use copyrighted music because they thought that they would be untouchable. As a streamer, I understand that you put all of your hard work on the platform and monetize off of your streams. Then you are aggravated that you have to delete your hard work with copyrighted music. I'm not knocking these streamers for putting their energy on the platform because it is their brand. They are entrepreneurs on this platform. At the same time, I can't take several people seriously when they dismiss music record labels because several creators want to use their music in their streams. In other words, they will claim that they are helping music record labels generate revenue. You have your own business on Twitch. These copyrighted music tracks don't belong to you, but they can't get upset that they're getting copyright claims because copyrighted music belongs to these record labels. These copyright owners will profit off of it if you use your work I don't think that it matters how long you use the soundtrack. Duration means nothing. Twitch is their money making machine because Twitch is the streamer's full time job and, and they play video games. It doesn't matter if it was a second, 50 seconds, 4 minutes, 10 minutes or longer than 10 minutes. The duration does not mean anything at all. At the end of the day, you can't win an argument against these copyrighted music owners. It is the way it is, if you were someone that owns, for example, music beats, your genre is hip hop, you have the license to these beats and someone uses your work for their own video content, you expect that person pays you for using your copyrighted music. That's how it works. There's nothing people can do to change it. Twitch should have built a copywriting system that can detect whether or not someone is using copyrighted music or not because Twitch is considered a streaming video platform where streamers are making money off of donations and advertisements. I mean that they should have done this earlier. I know that YouTube has been in this predicament several times. Normally, you're not allowed to use someone's video if it was not considered creative commons because it does not belong to you. On YouTube, it can be frustrating where people use your videos and you're not okay with it. It will not matter if someone profits off of it or not. I have been in this situation where someone used my video and 10 seconds on one of my videos were used and that person uploaded it without permission. I did not allow it at all. I filed a, dis a dispute to get that video deleted it did not take long for YouTube to take that video down. This also affects podcasters as well. I am very sorry if you are hearing the background noises. It's raining right now, so I will record this for you guys. Since I will be a podcaster full time, I am very wary of using someone's instrumental beast because you never know if it is copyrighted or not. That includes YouTube videos and audios. In case if you have noticed or not, I credit the people when I use someone's music piece on my podcast episodes. It is just to be safe. I also upload podcast episodes on YouTube. It is a big deal. My thing is that I really upload clips that do not belong to me because my last concerns are copyright strikes and copyright letters from YouTube. That's why I bring up evidence without uploading some videos or audios. 
that are not copyright free because there are legal consequences to face. YouTube has been improving the system to avoid copyright infringement or trademark lawsuits. I can't get mad at YouTube because they are taking it seriously to ensure that YouTube creators are not getting penalized and they are not getting sued. I'm not saying that their system is perfect. It is less stressful if you know what you're doing. YouTube has been through this for a long time. They had several lawsuits where people's work has been used without getting royalty money. I believe that YouTube did not think they would not suffer legal repercussions at one point in time. I think that people got away with using copyrighted music because Twitch did not do anything about it. Music record labels were not going after people before Twitch received DMCA notices. You would not want Twitch to lose some money because they're not taking it seriously. When you use someone's music that is copyrighted, you're not promoting their music and making money off of it. Just because you're playing, for example, Drake or DaBaby in the background of your stream, you're not promoting them. It's one thing to have memories in your old uploads. I'm sure that you can download your old streams. The thing is that record labels are making money when people use their copyrighted music. The law is on their side. Your argument is normally null and void. Let's go over why the whole internet copyright system goes wrong. Let's go over why the whole internet copyright system goes wrong. I heard the arguments Twitch streamers made about other streamers getting their old streams deleted and it's very stupid. It's the ignorant stuff that comes out of their mouth. There's not much you can do to argue against the record labels and the government. You may think that you can do a lot to have copyrighted music in your videos or streams, but you will not be able to monetize off of it. These record labels will. No one's going to back you up for using copyrighted work without permission. No music record label likes it when people use their music wh whether you are making money off of it or not. Plus what I have an issue with is that there is no there's no feature to find out if people's content had copyright claims. I'm talking about Instagram. My thing is how are people going to know the reasons their content is taken down? their posts and videos. Be specific with which copyrighted work is featured in my post. I'll take it down if, if it belongs to someone. YouTube has that system where they can be transparent. They have to let you know if you are using copyrighted work, whether you know it or not. Sometimes their system goes wrong where YouTube will mark your video private by mistake and you cannot make your video public. I'm not saying that their copyright system is perfect. As much as I don't stream, I guess that Twitch's copyright system can be flawed. That is what I know of and what I have seen where people upload videos about disputes with the YouTube copyright system. You're not going to win this battle. If you are a YouTuber before Twitch, then you should have known this by now. You know not to repeat these mistakes. You know that you should not receive copyright claims, let alone lawsuit papers showing up to your doorstep. If, to, if you want to use copyrighted music, then ask permission. If not, then don't use it. It's that simple. Let's go over why I don't agree with this new revision of the DMCA law. I feel that the reason why the new law will be put into place is because there are greedy people on the internet. There are strategic people who will do anything to make money as much as record labels suck. You will not want them to come after you, especially if you upload YouTube videos. It's another thing if their YouTube videos are public and not monetized, which most record labels find BS that they're not allowed to get paid. Let's talk about the part where music record labels are doing anything to come after people. I'm not trying to be funny. No one is going to get me arrested because I decided to live stream and someone accidentally played copyrighted music in the background. That's not my fault at all. Don't blame it on me. I'm aware that the copyright owners gave the rights to the property of the music tracks. This is not funny at all. 
No one's going to mess with my livelihood at all. You're not going to get my channel deleted and think that my life does not depend on YouTube. They are billion dollar companies. Fair use is existent. They don't believe in fair use at all. I find it very upsetting. I believe in fair use. There is someone that I follow on YouTube. She is a commentator with 900,000 plus subscribers on YouTube. She brought up an important point about why this is happening. She stated that the internet has changed where it became the new media. Major news outlets are on YouTube, which constantly gets recommended on the YouTube page. I thought that it, it is important to bring it up. I also believe that this new law is revised because everything is used on the internet. Everybody is using Netflix, Hulu, etc. Whatever you call it. It's also because they want to save money on cable. I'm sure that people still use cable TV. I may be wrong. There is such thing as YouTube TV where it became the new cable. Hulu and Netflix are basically the new movie theaters in this current time period today. No one buys DVD players to watch movies. Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, and other listening platforms are the new radio today. I feel that the internet affects the way we browse online as well as shopping online and what we are searching in the in the search engine box. People are going to OnlyFans these days. I think that most record labels are happy about the new DMCA law being set in place because they know that it is easier to make money. That is why these record labels are selfish, greedy, and ridiculously money hungry. At the end of the day, most record labels care about the money. Again, they will come for anyone if you use their copyrighted music whether you monetize off of it or not. I find it obvious that the record labels will do anything to target and take advantage of other people when people use copyrighted music. Relating to Twitch, I heard arguments that music record labels cannot go after Twitch streamers if they are not monetizing off of their stream and they are using copyrighted music no matter what the duration of the song is. I get why people find it very unfair. In other words, most people find the revision of the DMCA ridiculous and BS. I think that it upsets the music industry because no one is checking on using regular music, especially the creators who edit videos on YouTube. Regular people already realize the consequences of using copyrighted music. Today, most content creators use royalty-free music or music with no copyright to edit their videos. That is why the record labels are very salty about it. YouTube is also the new Hollywood. I feel that most people in Hollywood are very greedy and jealous. I feel that there are people who would do anything to go after people for making money off of the internet. I think that it bothers the people in Hollywood because there are several YouTubers who get the opportunity to act without going to an audition in a traditional way. No one has to worry about limitations based on how you look and your credentials. I don't know if that still exists in other parts of the industry. Depending on what you want to do, social media is considered a portfolio today. I don't think that any YouTuber has to worry about creating a casting video. I mean a traditional casting video in order to get acting roles. I may be wrong about it. You have people who have fame on Instagram and that is where it started. The Instagram models, Instagram comedians, social media music artists, etc. I feel that the only people who belong on this platform are the people who will never make it to Hollywood. Celebrities took over YouTube recently. That is what is going on today. I have a problem with it because these celebrities had a platform before content creators became famous on YouTube. My thing is, if you are a music artist, let us make content on YouTube. Worry about your career and spending money in the studio. You can have a YouTube channel, a listening platform such as Spotify and SoundCloud, but also you should worry about going on tour, expressing your lyrics in the music studio, and performing. Maybe 
you should stop flexing on the gram if that's what you're doing more than your career. I mean, a number of them do. There are music producers who grow their channel and make music beats, depending on the genre. Not all of them work with A-list music artists. Not all of them work with these well-known record labels. They don't upload their own music tracks and let people use it for free. I know that there are music producers who have them and sell it. According to these A-list celebrities, I bet you have enough money to live in your own home. Lots of, lots of them live in mansions, and I bet that they are overly expensive. I'm talking about their homes. No one said that we care about your vlogs and your daily life. If you are an actor or actress, focus on being in the movie. Focus on auditioning. Focus on practicing your script. No one said that you can join YouTube at all. Your career is much better than YouTube because the income is dry. In other words, let us regular people upload videos on YouTube. If you are on reality TV, then focus on reality TV. Stop trying to take away other people's checks. If you are a famous ap athlete, how about you focus on playing in the seasons coming up? We don't want you on social media including YouTube and Instagram. I don't care if it was soccer, volleyball, football, basketball, or baseball. If you are a martial arts fighter, then focus on being a fighter. I don't want you to waste space on social media, especially YouTube and Instagram. Jake Paul is on YouTube and he is a so-called boxer. I mean, there are regular people who are starting a podcast. I'm including myself. It is hard for regular people to work on their podcast because growth requires time and work to build an established audience. If I was a celebrity, I do not want anyone care about my daily life. I'd constantly focus on my career and stay off of social media. I can't take most celebrities seriously. Several celebrities have been showing their true colors and it is hard. it's not hard for me to believe it. These content creators have the right to have their own show on YouTube. Not all creators have their own TV show premiered on television networks. When people are on YouTube, you don't have to worry about casting yourself. People have fame on Instagram. There are food vloggers and influencers who are known for traveling the world. There are fashion influencers. I mean the ones that upload lookbooks. Overall, let the regular people make it to the top charts for being famous on YouTube. At the end of the day, democracy is dying. In general, you cannot upload a cover song with regular music without the vocals. I feel that we are on a way towards censorship and this is very dangerous and bad. It feels that we are not allowed to express ourselves anymore. I can't say that I blame YouTube or any other social media platform for letting the DMCA law be in effect when it is revised. I don't think that it is official yet. I don't know. You could not upload a clip of an episode from a show. You're not able to upload a scene from a movie on social media, especially YouTube. That gets taken down. It also feels that we don't have any room for creativity. I think that the government is diminishing room for people to be content creators. I always think that there is a difference between being a celebrity and being a content creator. Beyonce is an influencer. Rihanna is an influencer. In case if you are aware or not, your favorite influencers and YouTubers are at risk to be deplatformed, meaning getting their platform taken away from them. Celebrities are also at risk for this revision DMCA bill. Copyright holders are the ones that have power and side with the government. Photographers, graphic design artists, video editors, visual artists, content creators, authors, music producers, music record labels, which I've mentioned major production companies, etc. are the people who have power because their work belongs to these people. They have the rights to the property. 
freedom of speech is dying, freedom of expression is dying. I feel that there needs to be balance with this new bill. This new bill needs to be fair. I cannot dictate the consequences of the revision DMCA bill. I find the copyright system flawed. For example, I feel that people should have the right to upload a photo shoot of their portrait if they were featured in it and it belongs to the photographer. I have the rights to it because you took a professional image of me. I should have the rights to upload it on my social media accounts, including Instagram. Of course, I'm going to credit you. If I can't repost that image on my account, then I'm not going to work with you. It's that simple. That is what I believe should be considered fair between the person being the subject of an image and the photographer. Unfortunately, I don't think that it is the case. Currently, I see people posting photos of themselves on social media where that photo belongs to the rights of the photographers. I respect photographers who respect the person being the main subject of a of a photo shoot and knowing that they have the rights to it. I also want to mention that I have seen celebrities taking over TikTok. I would rather see regular people going viral because they either want to teach people or they want to entertain people. That is who I want to see on TikTok. No one asked these celebrities to go on TikTok. I would just mute them. It's frustrating every move they make. When people sign up on new popular social media platforms like TikTok, you have an Instagram account, you have a YouTube account, you have a Twitter account, you have a Facebook page. What else are you going to do? You have something better in your agenda than being on social media. I feel that most people are already tired of the celebrity celebrities because they want power. I don't admire these people based on power. Most celebrities are problematic for wanting so much money and having a high status of themselves. I'm talking about how much money they have, meaning they want to be rich, they want to be a billionaire. Let me wrap this up before I go. I have been thinking about the future with the internet copyright system. I'm not trying to worry about it. At the same time, it is very stressful to lots of creators and streamers. I'm not worried about it because I don't stream on Twitch and YouTube at all. I understand the business aspect because copywriter work is protected under the DMCA bill. I agree with it. I'm not choosing sides at all. I believe in being free. I also understand the the consumer side as well. I agree that the new revision of the DMCA law is very scary. This will affect your favorite creators and Instagram influencers that you also follow TikTok influencers too. I also see the government cover for people who have OnlyFans because these account users have a full-time business on OnlyFans. I don't know how many of you have OnlyFans to subscribe to people. You never know what people will upload on OnlyFans, whether it is copyrighted work or not. It also affects content creators who are based outside of the USA. I don't know what kind of consequences people will get if they use copyright work. It does not have to be just music. So far, we have been seeing celebrities showing their true colors for wanting a particular lifestyle. They are looking for a quick come up. They just want a big fat check in their bank account. They just want some quick money. Maybe these people don't want to lose lots of money because they are afraid of losing the millionaire or billionaire status. They are obsessed with the lifestyle that they want to live in. Unfortunately, most people cannot relate to most of these celebrities because I just know that several people are aware of the music industry showing their true colors. I just want people to wake up and know about this. I believe that Hollywood is still showing their true colors. We already heard stories that people were exposed for doing shady things in Hollywood. I believe that there will be more stories about people in Hollywood showing their true colors.
by the way, I'm not afraid to upload and I will not stop podcasting at all. I am not going anywhere, so I will continue to upload episodes for you guys. I believe that there will be more DMCA notices coming on TikTok and Instagram. I mean, YouTube is taking it seriously. Again, they're not perfect. They made sure that they will not get sued for people to use copyrighted content. So is Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch. I think that I forgot to mention this new DMCA law affects small businesses and small brands. For some reason, let's include the rookie journalist. I don't know if TikTok made an announcement about how they have to comply with the new revised bill of the DMCA law. I have not heard from them at all. Hopefully, I find out what TikTok has to say. I hope that they did. Maybe OnlyFans will comply too. I always feel that money is always involved when it comes to DMCA giving notices to creators and streamers. I don't know if that can happen by mistake sometimes. I get that. I could see that to be a problem. I'm not very certain about the future. I'm not trying to be funny. If this revised DMCA law passes, I'm going to do what I can to protect myself so I don't get any DMCA notices. No one is going to arrest me for expressing myself when it is the point of being a creator. I believe that streamers are allowed to express themselves on Twitch. The law cannot take it away from me, every content creator, every streamer, and every influencer. Hopefully, there is an update with the revision of the DMCA bill. I will update myself with the revision of the DMCA law. That is all I have for this episode. Thank you for listening to this episode of the Burry Weird Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please follow this episode on Spotify, Anchor.fm, Apple Podcast, Google Podcast, Breaker, Pocket Cast, Castbox.fm, Deezer, and Radio Public. Have a good day.